Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Prince Automation Destination. This is at Prince. I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to talk about agent mode of GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio Code, which enables MCP support. So what is this MCP support and what is the need of this agent mode in Visual Studio Code along with GitHub Copilot? We will try to understand as part of current discussion. So for that purpose, let me jump onto the slides, right? So we will try to understand what is agent mode, what is the need of this particular agent mode and how it enables MCP support and how we can talk to our MCP server with the help of this particular agent mode, right? So if we talk about any AI tool such as ChatGPT, Cloud Desktop, Gemini, right? So they have one thing in common that is LLM. LLM stands for large language model. but these LLMs does not have capabilities to talk to external data sources such as Jira, Confluence and other external sources, right? But if we can give access to these resources, they would be able to give us more accurate output. Why? Because LLMs needs the context. So what is context? So when we say act as a senior automation QA to any AI tool and write the manual test cases. So this is where it get the context and we provide the module name as well for this particular module we want to generate the test cases so this is how it gets the context and based on that context it generates the output now suppose we have jira story available on jira if we will directly provide the linking between llm and jira so it would be able to read more context and it would be able to generate more accurate test cases right so this is where the llms has the limitation and this is where mcp pitches in and mcp provides the support to talk to external data services right but github copilot by default does not have this capability that's why they have introduced agent mode and with the help of this agent mode now they can connect to mcp servers and mcp servers can further talk to external data sources and we can say now llm can talk to external data sources right now let us try to understand what is mcp right so this is a unified protocol which defines standard to allow applications to provide context right so using mcp we define a standard or we follow some standard and this is the protocol which defines standard to allow applications to provide context so it will allow jira for example to provide context to llms so that llm would be able to give more accurate output so it acts like a bridge between llms and external systems this is what we discussed and it follows client server architecture so as like we have postman which is an http client it can talk to rest apis right similarly in case mcp client such as cloud desktop or github copilot if they want to talk to mcp server they should be mcp client meaning they should have capabilities to talk to mcp server right so client could be any cloud desktop and now github copilot is also mcp client and server is a lightweight code which provide the functionality to talk to external data sources. So for example, we have GitHub MCP server. So what we can do is this particular GitHub MCP server will have functionality to connect to GitHub repository, right? <coughs> Sorry. Now let us try to decode what is MCP. MCP stands for model context protocol. So model could be any model that is LLM model, GPT-4, O, Claude, Gemini. Context is a reference as we discussed and protocol is rules. So MCP defines some set of rules by which we can provide context to models so that we can generate the more accurate output. <coughs> Sorry. Right. So now the question is, was it not possible? Uh, for LLMs to talk to external data sources even before MCP? So the answer to this is yes, but we needed to write the custom implementation, right? So we needed to write, uh, hit the unique API for Confluence, for Jira, I mean, for Confluence or for Selenium, right? But with the help of MCP, this process is unified. Now you can develop a MCP server, I can develop a MCP server and as a library, anyone can use it. So there are like many MC MCP server available already in the market. Like there is Selenium MCP, there is Playwright MCP, there is Confluence MCP, right? There is Atlassian MCP, right? So we need to simply integrate or set up a connection between LLM and the MCP server and rest of the task is done. So this process is unified. We don't need to write the custom implementation. That's why MCP is known as unified protocol, right? Now let us try to understand this particular scenario. As a user, 
I have Visual Studio and I have added an extension that is GitHub Copilot, right? Previously, it does not have Ascent mode. Now they have introduced Ascent mode and with the help of this Ascent mode, now it can integrate MCP servers and these MCP servers have light code functionality or they are light code, uh, lightweight code which has functionality to talk to different data services or data sources. So for example, there is GitHub uh, MCP server, which we can connect, right? There is Selenium MCP server, there is a Postgres MCP server. So as part of current discussion, we will try to understand and integrate Selenium MCP server and would be, we would be performing operations on Selenium MCP server with the help of GitHub Copilot, right? Post integration. So let me show you. So they're like MCP list of MCP servers. So if I search, so this is the official documentation. This is the official documentation and this is a GitHub repository of MCP. Here you can take a look at different MCP servers. So for example, there is GitHub, there is GitLab, uh, Google Drive, Postgres, right? And Puppeteer, somewhere I, uh, I saw Atlassian as well, right? Which, which means we can talk to Jira, Confluence, right? Okay, so you need to simply go to any of these and you can read the configuration, right? So on the similar lines, there is a MCP server introduced by Angie Jones. So she developed this particular um, MCP server and she defined few functionalities related to Selenium, like starting the browser, navigating to URLs, finding an element of a page, right? Clicking and performing and interacting various operations, right? Performing mouse over, right? So she has introduced in total 14 functionality. And right now the support is Chrome and Firefox, right? So we can simply integrate this MCP server with GitHub Copilot. So if you are not aware what is GitHub Copilot, so GitHub Copilot is AI assistant, which can be integrated with Visual Studio Code, Xcode, or IntelliJ and many other editors in the market, right? But as part of current discussion, we are going to talk about VS Code, right? So this is the configuration she has provided, which we can use to talk to MCP servers, right? So now, now let us jump on to practical demonstration. So this is the configuration that we can utilize to integrate this particular MCP server with GitHub Copilot, right? So I'm going to Visual Studio Code. So this is the GitHub Copilot interface. So I have already configured GitHub Copilot and linked it with my this particular Visual Studio Code. So I have added this GitHub Copilot as an extension and I'm using it, right? Then you can click on this and you would start seeing this particular interface, right? So previously there were two options, ask and edit. Uh, they have now introduced as it, right? So I will simply say open Chrome browser, right? So let us say what it will respond. To open the Chrome browser, this is what it is saying, right? So using this particular command line, we can do it, but this particular uh, GitHub Copilot does not have this capability, right? So we are going to use agent mode, right? So with this particular agent mode, what we can do is, we can click on this tool section, you would start seeing this tool section, and then after we are going to click on add more tools, add MCP server and here we are going to choose NPM package in our case because if you will take a look this is the node module this particular uh, MCP server is developed with right so I'm going to copy this particular node module right and going to provide it here right we are going to allow it it is thinking right it would be fetching the information right and I'm going to configure it for the current workspace so current workspace so you see that the same configuration which was appearing here has been added here right so selenium so this is the servers which stands for mcp server we can add multiple mcp servers so right now we have added selenium command is npx which is used to run node module npx is for running the node module hyphen y and this is the mcp selenium server node module right so we will wait for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes and then we will start performing these operations right before that, let me click on this particular tool section and now you would start seeing this MCP server and you would be able to see all 14 functionality that has been defined by that particular MCP server. So we don't need to install Selenium locally, right? Now let me try this. Open Chrome browser. So let us see. So you see now it is behaving different, differently. So it is saying run start browser using Selenium MCP server, right? So it will open Chrome browser now. So you see it has opened Chrome browser. Now what I'm going to do, open or we can say navigate to 
source demo application so it will ask for the approval so let me click on this right and it will log in here right next thing is login with valid credentials so it will start locating these elements using some predefined locators so it will try with uh, one after another if one is not successful it will go for next right so it is trying with id right so you see it has entered using id right next thing is it has located login button because we, we asked it to log in right so it has located login now what we can do is we can simply quit the browser right so you will notice this particular chrome browser would be closed right so let me click on this and this particular chrome browser is closed so this is how we can integrate any mcp server with github copilot and we can provide more context of mcp server so as in practice what you can do is you can integrate other mcp servers such as github you can fetch your repositories so if you will uh, scroll here this is a github uh, mcp server you can check out its configuration how to configure and you can try all these operations from github copilot either from intellij or from visual studio code so this is what i wanted to cover guys as part of current discussion thank you for watching and i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again